Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will learn to send PDF files directly and automatically from Google Sheets to WhatsApp account of people. So guys, let's suppose that you are selling any ebook or any course in PDF format and you want to send those courses and PDF files to your customers on their WhatsApp. And also you want to create a record of data of your customers and the files you are sending inside a spreadsheet. So in such kind of scenarios, this automation can be very useful. Let me show you how. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation. Here you just have to add the data of the PDF files and your customer here inside the spreadsheet in Google Sheets application. And as you enter the data, the files will be delivered to your customers on their WhatsApps automatically. So you need not to manually copy and paste the data again and again for each and every customer and your people and it will surely save a huge amount of your time and energy and to make this happen we are using pavli connect which is an integration and automation tool and the best part is anyone can set up this automation very easily without any coding skills or programming knowledge so guys let's set up this automation together so guys to start setting up this automation you need to reach the dashboard of pavli connect and to reach here you have to use this link pavli.com slash connect and we have pasted the same in the description from here you can set up your free Pavli connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month so sign up right now and log in to reach the dashboard of Pavli connect and here you have to create a workflow of automation for that you just have to click on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to this workflow so I'm giving the name here as send p df files on whatsapp from google sheets okay right now after giving the name just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up and on this page you will see the trigger and the action so guys automation work on this trigger and action thing so the trigger is the happening of any event which is going to trigger this workflow or starts this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger as in our use case the trigger would be addition of a data here in the google sheets application and the action towards that trigger uh, would be to send the files that you have added in google sheet on whatsapp account all right so first of all you need to set up this trigger guys so you have to choose your trigger application first which is google sheets in our case select it all right then the trigger event is this one new or updated spreadsheet row so it will triggers the workflow when a new row is added all right so just click on this option and from here it will give you this webhook url and with the help of this url we are going to make a connection with our google sheet and we are going to bring out the data from our spreadsheet to here in this uh, uh, response section of our workflow okay so you have to follow these instructions written here to make this connection let me show you how exactly you can do this so guys first of all you need to reach your spreadsheet application and here uh, you have to click on extensions and from this add-on section click on get add-ons option all right and guys from this google workspace marketplace you have to search for an add-on which is called pabli connect webhooks okay so search for pabli connect webhooks here and install this application or add-on here inside your spreadsheet so it will just take two minutes to install it as you can see as uh, i have already installed it so i do not need to install it again and guys after installing this add-on here you need to refresh your spreadsheet this is an important step after Installing Pabli Connect Webhooks add-on ref refresh your spreadsheet. All right. After this, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pabli Connect Webhooks option in the drop-down only. Okay. And from here, you have to click on this initial setup. All right. And under this initial setup, you will find these two fields: the Webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So guys, uh, in the webhook URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you got uh, from your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to paste the uh, last or final data entry column that you have in your spreadsheet. So let me show you uh, the final data entry column. So guys, our final data entry column is the E column. So guys, this means 
when I when I want to send the files first I have to start filling the data from the A column so first I have to fill the name of the person to whom I want to send the file then then the email address then the whatsapp number then the PDF file links and as I enter the files name here in the E column the workflow will be triggered and this file will be delivered to this these numbers okay this number right so E column is our trigger column all right so click on extensions again from Pavli connect by books click click on initial setup all right so let me erase this already pasted web url and the trigger column is e column and go back to your workflow copy your web url and paste it here in this web url field like this all right and here you can see as i have clicked on copy here it started showing this waiting for the web response so guys now we have to perform a test submission and we have to capture some da data from our spreadsheet to here and that will act as a test data and we are going to set up this automation further right so to get the test data here you have to go back to your spreadsheet and in the initial setup uh, box you will see this send test button okay so by clicking on send test the data of the first row that we have in our spreadsheet will be delivered as the test data here and will be captured here in our workflow let me show you i'm clicking on send test here and you can see it has written test data sent successfully and it is showing you this data gary monroe and the email and all this th all these things okay so let us check in our workflow if we got the data here and you can see in this response received section we captured the data with the same details uh, you can see gary monroe and the email and the phone number and the file name etc okay so this is how you can capture the test data now go back to your spreadsheet and from this initial setup click on submit all right and you have to do one thing more here you have to click on extensions and from this Pavli connect webhox option click on this send on event button also so when you click on send on event what will happen whenever you add a new row here that is going to trigger the workflow and it will run okay right so guys now what i want i want to send uh, this file this PDF file that the whose which link I have added here to this person on this WhatsApp num number. Okay, that's what we want. For that to happen, you have to connect. Uh, you have to use this action step, and here you have to connect WhatsApp's cloud API. So search for WhatsApp cloud API. Select it, and now you have to select the action event here. Click on send text message option. Okay click on send text message then click on connect here and from this window select add new connection and here it will ask for the permanent access token key of uh, whatsapp's cloud api and here it is asking for phone number id and the whatsapp business account id so guys uh, to get these things you need to reach the meta developer application of your whatsapp and there you have to find out these things so guys uh, if you want to set up your own whatsapp cloud api you need to follow uh, these steps written here when you click here on this here text guys you will reach this forum page which is forum.pabli.com and here in the threads you can see we have these videos how to set up whatsapp cloud api inside Pabli connect so you can watch this and here we have the video on generating permanent token token inside public cloud or oh sorry whatsapp cloud api all right so follow the videos video steps and here it is in the thread you will find all the steps to make the connection with public connect uh, like this okay so you can follow these instruction here to make this connection and we have pasted the link of these videos in the description also so from there you can also watch out how you can set up your own whatsapp cloud api all right and here let me show you where you will find these three things in the developer section of meta so guys here i am on developer.facebook.com and here i have created this application which is connected to my whatsapp cloud api my connect message application and on the getting started page of this application you will see uh, a temporary access token you will get a temporary access token first but these tokens expires in 24 hours so you can generate a permanent token also and here in the send and receive messages section you will see this phone number id just copy that 
and you have to paste it here and here you will see the whatsapp business account id copy that and paste it here all right and when you are done generating the permanent access token you have to copy that and paste it here so guys generating the permanent access token and making the connection uh, by this process inside Pabli connect is a one time process okay so you have to generate the token only once and you have to make the connection by this process inside Pabli connect only once after that you don't have to do it again after that if you want to connect again in any of your workflow you just have to click on this existing connection option and you have to select your existing connection from this list and you will be connected again with whatsapp cloud api as i have already done a connection in a previous workflow with cloud api so now i can use my this whatsapp cloud api final connection and i am just going to click on save and you can see we are now connected again okay so you can follow the videos guys and set up your own cloud api right and here it is asking for the recipient mobile number or whatsapp number and here it is asking to send a message that you want to send right so guys here you can see i have captured the test data from a spreadsheet like this and here we'll get the mobile number or the phone number or the whatsapp number label so i'm going to map this whatsapp number label here okay and to do that just click here and you'll find this google sheet step in the drop down and from here only you can map this number okay right and you have to map this number in this format with a country code compulsorily okay, okay and without any plus sign so that's how you can map the number and here it is asking to type a message for your person to whom you are sending the message so let me type a message here so guys i have typed the message like this you can see hello this is your ebook that you have purchased from this website this is the download link and this is the message and here I am going to map a few things from our test data from the first step. Like the name of the person to whom we are sending the message, I am going to map it after hello. Okay, you can see after, when you click here after hello, you will get this first step in the drop down. And from here only you can map the name like this. Okay, and in front of this download link, I am going to map the link that we got as the test data here like this. So guys, when you map these things, when you map these labels like this number and this data, in real time when this workflow will run in real time when you add the data here any row here these mapped labels are going to change automatically and new message will be delivered to the new person with the new data with new mapped labels okay okay so you have to set up this automation only once after that it will run automatically right so i can show you how the message will look like on whatsapp because i have the access to this whatsapp account okay and this is this whatsapp account is here so you can check your connection with the whatsapp account by clicking on save and send test request and guys i need to tell you one more important thing here and it is that uh, when you use this action event send text message of whatsapp cloud api you have to have a uh, initialize the conversations with your user beforehand that means this action event is for those kind of customers and people with whom you are already in connection already in communication on whatsapp okay so this is my user and i have already connected with this person uh, here you can see and now i can automate the flow of these kind of messages to already connected users that i have on whatsapp all, all right so here i'm going to click on save and send test request and let's see if it works so guys this is the response we have received here and we got a new message here and you can see uh, i'm in communication with this uh, uh, and you can see this is the customer i had which is already in communication with uh, with us you can see and this is the message I have delivered to him automatically and it is saying hello Gary Monroe this is your ebook that you have purchased from this website this is the link of that book from here you can down download it okay so this is the download link attached and here this is the kind of message I have want to send and this is the same message that I, uh, at, I, I have typed here okay and this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation so you can see first of all i connected google sheets in the trigger follow these steps and uh, fetch the test data and after that i connected whatsapp cloud api to send 
PDF files along with messages to my already connected customers and after that we have received this message here and guys the best part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel